Uh, my name is uh, Lee Crooks, I'm age 33 and I'm an LAC of the RF Regiment. I started as a professional footballer at Manchester City for six years, then moved on to Barnsley for three and a half years and on to Bradford City for two and a half years, and then finishing up at Rochdale Football Club for two years. And here I find myself the RF Regiment for seven months. I chose the RF Regiment just because they're a good force to be with and uh, they do a good job out on the ground and uh, obviously they do uh, a good job to help the, uh, the lads in the air. The, the roles are very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, being a professional footballer takes a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifices and also with the lads that you work with you've got to be 110% uh, committed uh, on the pitch and equally uh, as a gunner you've got to be uh, with your friends through thick and thin, be dedicated and be prepared to help each other out when things get tough. I think the qualities that uh, transfer over from the football to the front line is that you know you've got to help each other. You've got to be strong. You've got to be dedicated. And when somebody's uh, down in the dumps, you've got to help them pick them up and get them on with it. So. Uh, I think the best part of training today is obviously we're out in Centre Bridge at the moment. It's nice, wet and damp, but this has been the best part for me. Uh, live firing, and uh, we've got another you know seven or eight days left of this, which I'm going to enjoy. So it's been a fantastic time. Uh, I'm looking forward to the most now, getting out into my squadron. I'm going to be uh, based at uh, RAF Onnington at one squadron. Uh, and I know they've got a bit of a busy year coming up. So hopefully in uh, the up and coming future, I think we've got a little uh, trip to the Falklands. And hopefully in the new year, we should be uh, out in Afghanistan, hopefully. Even though the fitness is a lot different from being a professional footballer to being a, a regiment gunner, uh, it, it does help. Uh, it has set me in good stead for being here. You've got to be mentally tough, you've got to be robust and when times are, are tough you've got to be able to pick yourself up when you don't really fancy it and get on with it and just throw yourself into it and enjoy it as much as you can. The regiment, uh, I think the most memorable one was the Megan, the final exercise, minus 12 and it was my last week before uh, getting the yes to graduate or no to graduate. That was uh, a memory that will uh, Stay with me for a long, long time because I was absolutely freezing. Well, from start to finish at Onnington, started uh, like I say seven months ago. Uh, the training has been absolutely fantastic. The staff there are very committed. They'll help you. They've always got a, uh, you know, if you want to chat with them, they'll help you. But real dedicated set of uh, instructors there, and uh, you know, they've helped me a lot and they brought me, as you can see, a professional footballer seven months ago, and now I'm firing live in the middle of Wales, which is uh, it's not bad, so it's credit to, to the instructors and people at uh, RF Onnington. When I graduated uh, about three weeks ago, the sergeant said he felt like a bit like a football agent, so the first day he had a phone call asking if I'd be willing to play football, uh, so I think there's a little trip out to Marlborough coming up on the 6th of March to the 16th, so fingers crossed it should be a little bit warmer than uh, Sandy Bridge. My wife was 110% behind me, uh, she's got a good career herself. And obviously I've played football in the past and she said if it's something you want to do you go for it and she's 110% uh, behind me so uh, fair play to her, you know, I'm, uh, I'm proud to have her as my wife.